you all for coming. It's going to be an exciting day to get on track. As you notice, the sky might leak a little today, so we're going to just keep an eye out for that. Thank you for being here. We'll be part of that. But you're part of the, the seed that's coming out here. I'm not going to take too much of your time because you want to get on track. In 2009, they hosted Miata Reunion uh, in California. I believe they had like a thousand cars over there. And I couldn't make it. You know, I was here in Georgia, but I got to see all the pictures. Some of my friends went, um, California friends, that went to Miata Reunion. So when we started Jay Zilla Track Days, it was actually my bachelor party. And they, the way we wanted to tailor it was just like Miata Reunion, which, which would be based on the camaraderie because of the car. And when Miata Reunion decided that they were going to travel, I said, hey, um, what better opportunity for us to get involved with them? So I reached out and we also had a couple mutual friends that knew Rick Weldon of Miata Reunion. And then here we are, we're at Barber, we're the logistical team, Jay Zilla Track Days. So at Miata Reunion, there's a little bit for everyone. Even though we host the, the track day, we're the logistical host for the track day and also the car control clinic, there's also a car show and there's also a banquet. We've got a track, a beautiful world-class track here. We've got these modules, we've got car shows, we've got everything that kind of embodies the Miata culture all in one place. So today we are at Barber Motorsports Park for Miata Reunion and it's 2022. This is a fantastic place to come. It's a beautiful track that has just, uh, they've spent a lot of money here. It's just a gorgeous place to come and a fantastic place for small cars like the Miata as well as the Exo set. Uh, people are you can right at home with this kind of stuff and you're going to have a blast coming out to Miata Reunion. Events like Miata Reunion are extremely important to the Miata community as a whole because it brings everybody from all around the country to one specific location. It's, uh, you know, it's a small, passionate group of people who are, love the Miata and have for many, many years. And this brings everybody together in one centralized location throughout the U.S. Uh, every year. Uh, the Exoset is actually based on the Miata. Uh, so the NA and NB Miata from 1990 to 2005 is what the Exoset is based on. So we utilize all of the suspension as well as all of the driveline components for that to basically build the Exoset. So you end up saving between 700 to 900 pounds and that basically becomes a Miata that looks more like a go-kart and it's just a lot lighter in general and uh, you know, a lot more fun. I never really cared for Miatas. I thought they were silly little cars that couldn't be that much fun. And then I finally got to drive one and absolutely fell in love. And ever since, I've been chasing something better and I always end up back at Miatas. Um, and I just pour more, more money into Miatas and it always pays me back. So uh, I, I love how simple they are. They're built to be sports cars from the ground up and the community around it all seems to get it, right? It's not this flashy, ostentatious car. It's something where you're really there for the pure love of driving, and the community that builds around that is incredible. And so I love events like Miata Reunion because it brings that community together and gives every kind of aspect of Miata culture a home.
My first Miata, my wife at the time saw one going down the road and thought it was a cute car and she wanted one. I told her as long as she got a red one, I was fine with that. Two months later, we bought this puppy right here. I lost her the next year to cancer and we've kept the car in the family ever since. It's been through several different versions. And then this past summer, I gave it to my son for his 36th birthday, because he's a good kid. And he, so far he hasn't messed it up. I got this blue one a few years ago and gave it to my girlfriend for our 20th anniversary. She doesn't drive it much, so I get to have fun with it. This car has 375,000 miles on it. I love Miatas because they're just fun to drive <laughs> in the mountains. I even take spirited drives to the liquor store. <laughs>So an event like this is really important to the industry because the Miata is probably one of the affordable track cars that you can get to start off with. Uh, while it not, might not be the fastest car, and they corner really well, and also it's good for a beginner. When you go to a track day, it costs money. It costs money for tires, it costs money for fuel, and these cars are really fuel efficient on track, and they're very, very light on consumables. It's probably the most fun per dollar that you can have.
So at Miata reunion, they're in the bank with uh, Tom Matana will be there to speak, also Norman Garrett. They're also here to sign autographs. So Tom and Norman are both a key piece in designing the Miata. Can you get them on yourself?